Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue on your Windows computer where the remote desktop cannot connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons. And it will proceed to list out the reasons as the remote access to the server is not enabled, the remote computer is turned off, or the remote computers are not available on the network. Make sure the remote computer is turned on and connected to the network and that remote access is enabled. So the first thing you want to do is open up the search menu. Type in sysdm.cpl. Best match to come back with a control panel item. Go ahead and open that up. Select the remote tab. And then where it says allow remote assistance connections to this computer, make sure that's turned on. And then also make sure that the option to allow remote connections to this computer underneath remote desktop is also selected. And that the, the option right underneath the checkbox here versus allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication. Again, make sure that is checkmarked. Select the select users button. Make sure that you currently have access and this is your username here. If not, you may have to click the add button and then search for your username. And you would select check names and you would select OK. But again, that's how you would add another user account on the computer. So that's one thing I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else I'd also recommend doing once you're done with that is opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best result, check them back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to go ahead and type in IP config and hit enter. So make sure that the IP address that's listed over here reflects what the IP address on the other machine is because that's the number assigned by the DHCP server. So again, make sure that number matches up with what you have on the other computer. And then you also want to go ahead and type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and just close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your computer. And then once you've done that, hopefully once you restart it, you should be good to go. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.